Hey, Wonder Rosie here. <laughs> I'm all the way in southern Texas at Big Bend National Park. It's a national park way at the bottom of Texas, right on the Mexican border. Matter of fact, I think that's Mexico right over there. And the Rio Grande River flows through this beautiful canyon down here in this part of the park. And right alongside the river, there's supposed to be some really nice hot springs. I've been hearing a lot about these hot springs. I have friends who've been to them and they're supposed to be pretty nice, under five degrees. Unfortunately, they're pretty popular with tourists, especially when it's a Friday in uh, late February, so it's kind of like the high season here. So I'm probably gonna have to wear a swimsuit, but that's okay, I brought a swimsuit just in case. It's supposed to be like a short to a quarter mile hike down this trail here, so enough yakking, let's go check out the hot springs. <laughs> Okay, it's an easy trail. You can see I'm wearing, well actually, for once in my life, I forgot to bring flip-flops with me on this trip because when I left Vegas, believe it or not, it was snowing. It's a very rare event. There was a huge snowstorm in Vegas and it was so cold that it didn't occur to me that I'm going all the way to Southwest Texas and it might be warmer. So all I brought were furry boots. And it's like 80 degrees today and there's no way I wanted to wear hot, sweaty, furry boots. So I went to the Dollar General in Marfa, Texas, where we stayed last night, and bought these awesome $1 flip-flops. Really not bad for a dollar, huh? Kind of like a Miami Vice color scheme. It's actually a really interesting commentary on the messed up state of things that this pair of flip-flops, which was manufactured halfway around the world in China, probably by near slave wage laborers, and then shipped halfway around the world on a giant cargo ship ended up at a dollar general in the middle of nowhere texas and i was able to buy them for the cost of one dollar how does that make sense how does one dollar cover all those costs <sighs> crazy but hey look at this i guess way back in the day there was some kind of fancy hot spring resort down here like in the 1800s and this is one of the old buildings left over from it looks like it's all screened off so we can't go in but i bet we can look through the cracks let's see Oh wow, look. <laughs> this is cool. Big old building. Oh look, here's what it looked like. This is the way it was from 42 to 52. Oh, this was the store. This woman named Maggie Smith worked here and she sold little snacks and stuff that you would need, I guess, to go soak at the springs. Interesting. Huh, I just like the uh, uh, mural on the wall back there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of cool, a bunch of cactus with like a bandito hiding behind it. Pretty cool, cool little building. Oh, look at the fireplace in the corner. I guess it gets cold here at night. Actually, it does. It'll be down in the 30s tonight, I think, 40s. So hopefully this water's warm. Okay, we gotta cross this bridge now over this dry creek bed. That's not the Rio Grande. I'm guessing the Rio Grande is just up ahead. Oh, here's a sign. Maybe this will tell us something. Hot springs. I think we want hot springs 0.25 miles. That's only a quarter mile. That's an easy hike. Wow, this trail is amazing. It goes, winds down through this little canyon with this really dramatic rock face looming overhead. Look at the cool, the layers of the rock. That's interesting. But look at this little plaque down here. What does it say? Rock art at the hot springs. Oh, wow. When J.O. Langford homesteaded this section in 1909, he was moving into an area that had long been inhabited by Native Americans. Walk this trail to view pictographs and petroglyphs. Oh, cool. We're going to have to keep our eye out for that. Just in case you forgot, pictographs are when it's painted on the rock, when it's a picture painted with like berry juice or cinnabar or whatever. Petroglyphs is when they etched it into the rock. So it looks like there's this little trail you can take here along the cliff face that has some petroglyphs along it. Um, before we go to the hot springs, let's check this out real quick. Okay, I think there's a pictograph right up here. You can see those red markings there. I, don't, I think it's what cinnabar, I think is what they said they used. Some kind of ground up cinnabar. I don't know what that symbol is supposed to represent, but that's kind of cool. Oh, wow, well, look, here's some really cool stuff. There's some petroglyphs, I think those are, well, I can't tell if those are pictographs or petroglyphs. It was painted on or scratched in, it's hard to tell. It's crazy because it's not fenced off or anything. You can just go right up close to them and have a look-see. Weird, it's almost like furry looking. I'm not sure you can tell that from the video. Oh look, there up on the side, there's some more uh, pictographs. 
oh wow and then i know this isn't a petroglyph or a petroglyph but look there's like some like mm, oh those are mud swallows nests up there look at those little or hopefully it's not wasp nests yikes well, wow, there's all kinds of cool stuff going on down at these hot springs. I like them already. I mean, I'll be honest, pulling into the parking lot on a Friday afternoon in the high season, there's all these cars and crying kids and families. <laughs> but I'm sure once I get down in this Rio Grande Gorge, it's going to be so beautiful. It'll all be worth it. Okay, so straight ahead is the trail by the hot spring. Off to the right. Oh, wow, we can see the Rio Grande River there. Look at that. There's this really cool giant friggin' grove of palm trees with this little picnic table, a couple picnic tables. They have a nice shady place to hang out and have lunch. But you can see the river through the bushes there. That's the mighty Rio Grande. That's the border, you guys. Look, there's one more thing I noticed over here by this old ruins of this resort. What on God's green earth is this? Oh, they're for sale. It's like little bead art that somebody just left out here with price tags on it. But Who's minding the store? How, who am I supposed to pay for this stuff? Look how cool these peacocks are. 10 bucks. Where are you supposed to leave the money? Oh, there's a jar. Oh, wow, it's the honor system. Far out. You just, if you want to buy one, you take it with you and just leave money in that little jar. That's crazy. It's funny because at the parking area, there was a sign saying that thefts were known to occur, so don't leave your valuables in the car. Uh, so if there's a history of thievery here, I find it especially astonishing that this, these bead things are being sold on the honor system. Interesting, unless the person who's selling the bead things is the one who's breaking into cars. Look at all these awesome desert wildflowers. Sorry about my shadow. But a lot of purple ones, yellow ones, white ones. It's crazy because it's such a harsh, arid landscape. And then you see these little pops of color. It's really pretty. My friend hiking ahead. We came all the way out here just to go to these hot springs. So they better be worth it. Here we are strolling right along the U.S.-Mexico border. That's uh, Mexico over there. And here we are on the U.S. side. There's like some pretty cool mountains back there in the distance on the Mexico side. And pretty cool mountains on this side too. Okay, I think we're here. I see people's clothes and stuff piled up on the riverbank. Now with all hot springs, I might not be able to take any footage because I don't want to be rude to other people soaking. But I'm planning to hang out here for a few hours, so I should be able to find my opportunity at some point. But let me see if I can shoot it now. They sh they're supposed to be really cool right on the bank of the river. Let's see. Oh, there's hot springs down there. Look how cool. Ah! <laughs> right on the shore of the river. That is so beautiful. How cool. Okay, now normally you know I prefer to soak in a hot spring naked, but it's real crowded here, it's the weekend, and it's Texas, which is a very conservative state. So when in Rome, I had to choose a very special bikini to wear in the great state of Texas. So I had to look through all my bikinis to find the one that was the most worthy of the great state of Texas. And I came up with this. What do you think? Is this patriotic enough to soak in Texas? <laughs> just kidding. I think I was way too uncomfortable to wear, so I just put on my normal old-fashioned bikini. Because that other thing feels like permanent wedgie status. Like, you can't get away from it. <laughs> I don't know how Borat did it. Okay, so the cool thing about this hot spring is it's right at the side of the Rio Grande River. So, even though it's like 105 degrees in the hot water, it's nice and chilly. You can do a cold plunge. If you're like me, I like to do the you know, get the cold water, get real cold, and then get in the hot water and warm up. Ah! <laughs> so chilly. Woo! Ah! <laughs> it's probably only like 50 degrees, it's not that cold. It's actually very refreshing. The only downside is it's a little tough to climb back <laughs> out of the river. Okay, now I'm gonna get in the hot water and see how good that feels. <sighs> so 
so friggin' nice. This is definitely one of the nicest hot springs I've been to. Woo. You can see the water is very clear. The nice uh, sandy gravel bottom. No weird muck. I mean, there's algae on the rocks here, but it's not really that bad. The water, is, the source comes out of there. Oh gosh, oh, pretty hot, like 105 degrees, I'd say. It's very toasty. For once in my life, I'm not in a hurry. I'm planning to hang out at these hot springs all evening. So uh, when the sun finally goes down, it's uh, almost a full moon. So it should get a lot chillier and it'll be beautiful to see all the stars and the water should feel really good. So peaceful. Oh my God, you guys, it's so dark out here. You probably can't see me, but <laughs> it's way after dark. We stayed in this hot spring, a whole sunset. It was so beautiful and so peaceful. And the moon just came up right over on the side of the border there. That's Mexico. The moon, moon over Mexico. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's almost full. It's going to be really hard to leave this hot spring. Oh, you're not allowed to camp here, so... But what a peaceful night. Just so surreal, just soaking in this tub of hot water right on the edge of the Rio Grande. And it was the most peaceful, beautiful night. And we met some really cool people. So, do I recommend these hot springs? Yes, I do. Never spend the night in the back of a Nissan Armada. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty big SUV and the rear seats fold down. It's one of those things that has three, uh, three rows of seats. Well, they all fold down, but they don't fold down anywhere near flat. <laughs> I spent a very uncomfortable night <laughs> sheltered in that thing down here at Big Bend National Park. We're parked at a very lonely, hidden little nook alongside the Rio Grande River. Look at this. We actually spent all yesterday down the river that way, and we just soaked and dipped in the cold river and then went back into the hot spring. We met so many cool people, really interesting locals. Everyone had a wonderful time, and the view was beautiful, but we were all talking about when they build the wall where that's going to be because... I don't know if they would build it like down the middle of the river or if they would just build it like right here on the U.S. side of the riverbank, but that doesn't make sense because then we won't be able to see the river. So maybe they'll build it on the Mexico side of the riverbank, but then, I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, who knows where they're going to build it, but that was the hot topic in the hot spring last night. We stayed there until like, oh gosh, after midnight. The wildflowers are blooming. Texas is friggin' awesome, you guys. I'm sure those of you from Texas already know that. But that's just my two cents. Now I'm off to enjoy more of Texas. I didn't want the hot spring to be the only thing I experienced at Big Bend. So before we left, we headed over to the west side of the park to check out the beautiful Santa Elena Canyon. This is where the Rio Grande flows through a super dramatic deep, narrow canyon, and the canyon walls create some really amazing acoustics. In fact, as I was hiking along, I thought my ears were playing tricks on me, because echoing faintly from within the canyon was the sound of bagpipes? Sure enough, this crazy guy had dragged his set of travel bagpipes all the way from Minnesota just to hear what they would sound like in this beautiful canyon. <laughs> now that's my kind of hero. This was such a surreal and awesome way to end my brief visit to Big Bend. I only had one day there, so I didn't get to see nearly enough of it, but I will definitely be back to explore it more and soak in the hot springs again.